the funnier shit was when he was applying the anesthetic. He's like, this is gonna make you numb and your heart rate might spike a little bit. So don't be afraid of your heart rate spiking up a little bit. In my head, I was just like, you think I haven't spent numerous nights at the after hours getting numb in the gums with my heart rate absolutely <laughs> spiking? Partying with Charlie. I've gone through crazier numb mouths and heart spikes than this pal. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods, yeah. Time to eat this burrito that is the size of my head. It is so hefty. This is the large size, it's 15 bucks. But look at, look at how fat that thing is, all right? This is the spot though, Bar Burrito. Domino's on its way, but it's basically a knockoff of Chipotle. Never tried it though. And beside, we got the Popeyes where I just got some sauce to pour on to said burrito, even though they did sauce the burrito very well. You guys know. I love the black and ranch. Anyways. And like I said, swung into Popeyes and grabbed myself four black and ranch to pour on a per bite basis. All right. I generally don't love uh, like a Chipotle or any place like that. I don't love ginormous. I don't really love burritos with like rice and beans and stuff, which this has. I know I'm weird. I'm an anomaly. Unravel this behemoth. This is literally the size of a football, regulation size football. I shit you not. But uh, it's got crispy chicken, so like a crispy fried chicken with bang bang sauce on it. And then beans, rice, cheese, lettuce, tomato, green pepper, onion, uh, sour cream, chipotle sauce, burrito sauce. Uh, what else is in here? I don't know, a bunch of stuff, but Gotta have a first saucy. <laughs> this thing is so big. First saucy uh, football bite. Gargantuan. Mmm. Just hit that rice pocket. Like I said, she sauced it accordingly inside there. All right, shout out to y'all. For being as cool as you are <laughs> in my video where I had the pizza, my last video, I told you I was, you know, root canal on that. And everybody was wishing me like luck and, you know, no pain and <laughs> telling me about their experiences and stuff and how it, you got to get it dealt with and whatnot. So shout out y'all. Y'all the coolest and the nicest. Um, it went great. Today was my second appointment of, of the two. Like I went for the first one and he did all like the, the drilling and deep cleaning. And it froze me up so good. My ear, like all up to my ear was numb. And uh, I didn't feel like a thing, really. I didn't feel anything. It wasn't bad at all. The funniest shit was when he was applying the anesthetic, the local anesthetic. He's like, this is gonna make you numb and your heart rate might spike a little bit. And he's like, 
So don't be afraid of your heart rate spiking up a little bit because he's like the nicest dentist ever. Always communicating the process with me and like checking in on me like such a good dentist. But the whole time... I'm like, you think I haven't spent numerous nights at the after hours getting numb in the gums with my heart rate absolutely <laughs> spiking, right? Partying with Charlie. In my head, I was just like, I've gone through crazier <laughs> numb mouths and heart spikes than this, pal. <laughs> but it went perfect. Um, but it, the hardest part is just being open for almost two hours. This thing is insane. But yeah, just having my mouth wide open for two hours, easily the hardest part of it. I can't even like eat this. Just end up with lockjaw. Tight feeling, but uh, the the numbing wears off like two hours after, and I had no pain. Didn't need Advil, Tylenol, nothing. It was perfect. This is insane. So anyways, he put the uh, temporary filling in. And then I went back today for another hour and a half where he opens it back up again. And then did all the rest of it to finish it up and then now I just need a crown and stuff to like make it look like a normal tooth again But that's at the, like, another dentist now, not him. My regular dentist. And this burrito is becoming next to impossible to eat. Does this happen to you? When you get gangster burritos? You just end up with like a palm full of burrito that you just can't eat because it's disintegrated. This is precisely why I never liked these gargantuan burritos because this tends to happen. <laughs> this burrito feels impossible. All right, well, that'll end that. I'm going to find a way to eat this, but just not here because it's just going to get too reckless. Uh, and that's still like $3.50 worth of burrito. You know what I mean? That's still like a whole small burrito still.
in my head. But yeah, I just want to try this spot. They sauce the hell out of it, like I said. These these type of burritos, I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm always conflicted. Like they're good, they taste good. It's a good idea, but they always end up in this sludgy bottom failure. So that's my beef with uh, like Chipotle and shit like that. I, I was never a huge fan, but uh, tastes good. Anyways, that's my uh, my dental update. <laughs> uh, still got work to do, but the canal part of things really smooth. Loved it. Actually enjoyed it. The guy, my dentist during all the operation shit. He was explaining everything in detail and it was like i was getting like a tier one root canal education from dude while he was doing the work so shout out to him super good fucking dentist really good experience five star rating on yelp all right now till the next one eat good live well stay true and avoid sloppy burrito puddles